I'm Matthew Keeble, reporting from Attack Resources' Rackliff Project in Canada's Yukon Territory. Today we're joined by President and CEO Graham Downs. Thanks for joining us, Graham. Thanks for having me. Uh, so let's just get started with a broad, uh, a broad question, and that is, uh, you have Canada's only Carlin-style mineralization. So yeah, I mean, Carlin-style mineralization, I mean, that's just a way gold deposits have been formed. They simply uh, can be very big and they form in clusters, and uh, that's what we were finding up here. So maybe let's start at sort of the beginning with, with, with the discovery of what was Conrad. Absolutely. So in, in 2010, we knew about an anomaly that was out here, gold mineralization all throughout uh, the circ up here. We drilled uh, hole one, which was 65 meters of uh, just under five grams. So a spectacular hole. And that uh, started a, a staking rush uh, for 185 kilometers long, 1,700 square kilometers. And, uh, and since then, we've drilled five uh, Carlin type zones and uh, we've uh, made new discoveries every year out of this Natalie trend. Uh, at the end, I think it was last season, you, you made a new discovery, uh, which was you've called Orion. Um, and uh, that's become a big, big focus for you. So maybe a little discussion on why it's, uh, why it's so attractive and important and uh, why it's kind of moved to the forefront. Well, two years ago, we drilled on a, on a small target, uh, Anubis, and got almost 20 grams over almost nine meters. So. And then we went back in there and, and uh, drilled about 300 meters away from it late last year. And uh, lo and behold, on one of our last holes, we drilled uh, 47 meters of uh, just under four grams. And that hole bottomed in mineralization. And what's really important about that is that uh, this started almost at surface or right under a thin veneer of uh, overburden. Um, so you're looking fairly cashed up at this point. Um, from a strategy point of view, uh, as you move forward here, I mean, um, this is, sounds like a, a project that could handle a lot of drilling. Um, so I mean, when would you really look at turning on the taps? Yeah, as soon as possible. Uh, we've managed to keep our dilution down through the, uh, the last few years of tough times and uh, we wanted to be at the head of the pack as an exploration safe jurisdiction. Um, so w when we move further back to the west, uh, to your, your raw trend, you have A, the Tiger Oxidite deposit, which you released a preliminary economic assessment on earlier this year, and something called the airstrip anomaly. You know, late last year when we had to do a couple things for the PEA, we said, well, let's extend some of these soil lines. And lo and behold, we found, you know, a 10 square kilometer, our largest golden soil anomaly, right beside the Tiger deposit. It's a a soil anomaly that's you know quarter gram, half yeah. gram, gram. It's not one of your very low threshold type yeah. gold anomalies. So you're seeing the grades at surface. Yeah, right at surface. Yeah. And what I like about that is it's closer to infrastructure. Furthermore, you know we uh, just put in our application to get a 70 kilometer road permitted into that tire deposit. A tote road. A yeah. tote road. The, so it comes from Keno City, which is right from Keno yeah. City. If we can get a uh, little bit more excitement and results from the raw trend, get the tote road permitted, keep finding more out here at Orion. I mean, we have some of the best grades in Canada. You know, you tie all of that together, we've got an amazing project with a ton of potential. I'm Matthew Keeble, and this has been Graham Downs, and we have exciting news coming to you from the Rackler Project in the Yukon Territory.